Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a gorgeous continuous join as you go granny square blanket. I'm gonna be joining up these sunflower granny squares today, continuous join as you go style or technique. Don't be worried about it, just follow along step by step. I'll also show you how to edge it into this great border so you don't have a wobbly edge. I'll be showing you how to do that as well. So only two ends to sew in and you're gonna finish up with a gorgeous continuous join as you go granny square blanket. You can make it with any granny squares, you can make it any size. And I'll be showing you how to do this great border in a separate tutorial, just so you know that borders and blankets can be separate. They can mix and match whichever style you like. So go ahead and get your granny squares laid out however you want them to be, paying special attention that your ones in the four corners match. And then we're just gonna start joining on one end. We're just gonna start joining right here down at the bottom. So we're gonna join this row first, and I like to keep my next row above me so I know which square I'm gonna be starting with for the next row. For this tutorial, I'm gonna join in this green color yarn, just so you can see my stitches of what I'm doing and where this yarn is going. And then stack up this first row, just so it's a little bit out of the way. Grab your first square, pop your hook into any corner, it doesn't matter, just into that corner space. Loop of your joining yarn on your hook, long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join and drop your tail. We can just hold it along the top of our work. We can work over that a little bit. Chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn into the same corner space, two double crochets, one and two, and three double crochets into each space all the way along your granny square for however many spaces along the side you have. One, two, three, into the next space, three double crochets. And this is how you'll join all of your granny squares. It doesn't have to be sunflower granny squares like mine, regular granny squares, it all works out the same. Into the next space, three double crochets, one, two, and three, and into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into our corner space, if you have a tail, you can just hold that along your corner. So we can work over it a little bit. So wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the corner space. One, two, and three, so that's our first block. Grab your next square from your stack into that first corner space, right there. Any corner, three double crochets, one, two, and three and into each space along this block, three double crochets into each space. So you can pause the video and just work ahead, three double crochets into each space, and I'll meet you when you get to your corner. Have you subscribed to this channel? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun stuff just like this. When we get to our corner, three double crochets, and again, if you have your tail, you can work over it. So three double crochets into the corner space. One, two, and three. So we've joined two blocks so far. Grab your next block and three double crochets into that first corner space. One, two, and three, and now three double crochets into each of these spaces along your granny square, or however many spaces you have for depending on the size of your granny squares. 
So pause the video, three double crochets into each space, and I'll meet you at the corner. When you get to that corner space, three double crochets into the corner space. One, two, and three. And now you can pause the video and just join all of your other blocks, this first row. We're just gonna join them all just like this. So three double crochets into the corner of your last block and three double crochets into the first corner of your next block all the way along until your whole row is joined. After you joined the last block of that row, just rotate your work. We're gonna be working around this block now. So just like a regular granny square, chain two for your corners, or whatever corners you were doing for your granny square, and three double crochets into that same corner, into that same space. One, two, and three, and three double crochets into each of the spaces. So you can pause the video and work along one row of granny square, we're just basically finishing off this granny square, and I'll meet you when we get right here. When you get to the corner where we started, we're going to do three double crochets into that corner space. One, two, and three. Now make sure your blocks aren't flipped over. Make sure your pretty stitches are facing up and your blocks are the right way around. Now we're just going to slip stitch around this area here. So you can just pop your hook down under, grab your yarn, bring it through, and slip stitch just to join it in that corner, and chain one. Now rotate your work. We're gonna be working along the next block and joining. So keep your work that you have finished above you on your work surface, or on your knees if you are working more comfortably. And into this corner space, three double crochets, we want to finish that corner. So one, two, and three. And now we want to go down into the space of the block we're going into. You can decide if you want to take your hook out and put your hook in and your loop back on your hook to bring it through. You could do it that way or you can just put your hook straight down in and bring your yarn up and slip stitch. Whichever way you want to do, just decide and do it that way all the time or for the whole blanket. So into the next space, three double crochets. So three double crochets into the block we are working on. There is two, and three. And into the next space of our granny square we finished, I'm just putting my hook down and bringing my yarn back up and turning my hook for a little slip stitch, wrapping your yarn and then into the block we're working on, three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. Into the next space on the block we finished, put your hook down and bring your yarn up and slip stitch. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. Into the next space, pop your hook down, bring your yarn up and slip stitch. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the block you're working on. One, two, and three. Into the next space, slip stitch. So put your hook down and bring your yarn back up and slip stitch to join. And then wrap your yarn and three double crochets into this corner space. One, two, and three. Now into our corner space of the block we have finished, slip stitch to join, 
and chain one. Now rotate your work. We're going to be working along the, our next block on the two sides. So all the way along here and all the way down. So you can pause the video and keep working along three double crochets into each of your spaces and corners of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets all the way along and I'll meet you when we get down here. When you get to that corner where we started, three double crochets into that corner space. One. Two and three. And now get yourself situated. Make sure your pretty stitches are facing up. And we're just going to slip stitch around this bend. And now we're just going to slip stitch in between those stitches. Slip stitch and chain one. And now rotate your work so your finished block is above you and what we're working on is in front of us. And now we're going to finish this side and join it same as we did before. We'll just do it one more time together. So wrap your yarn into that same corner space. Three double crochets. One. Two. And three. Into the first corner space of your granny square that you have finished. Just pop your hook down and bring your yarn up and slip stitch and into the next space, three double crochets on the block you're working on. One, two, and three, and into the space of the block you have completed, put your hook down into that next space and slip stitch to join. So you're just making your three double crochets into the block that's closest to you and your slip stitches in between in the block we have completed. So there's our three double crochets and our slip stitch into the completed block. Slip stitch. So three double crochets into the block you are working on. One, two, and three and into the block we've completed, one slip stitch into that next space. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into that next space on the block we're working on. One, two, and here is number three. Into the completed block, slip stitch to join, just like that. Now into our corner space, three double crochets. And you can pause the video and get caught up. And now finish this block just like we have these last two. We're gonna go all along the three sides. Slip stitch to the bottom, work back up and join all the way along your first row. So pause the video and get all of your first row joined up and I'll meet you when you get to the end. So when you have gone along the top edge of your last block, we are going to join the next row. So we're not working on this one side. This one side is going to stay empty until we have finished joining all of our squares. So we're just going to be working back and forth. This side where we started, where our tail is, we are never working into these. Well, not never. We're not working into these until the very end of our blanket. So mine is a lot smaller than it will be, but this is how we're going to do it. So get your next blocks ready and stack them up. Grab your next block and into that corner space we're going to start with our three double crochets. So wrap your yarn, three double crochets into that corner space, any corner. One, two, and three. So just how we were joining our blocks before, but now we're going to rotate our work above us. We always want our completed work on top. So just turn that around, give it a little rotation, and we're going to be joining as we go right here, starting on this side. If you're enjoying this video, hit that thumbs up. So slip stitch into that very first space. Just put your hook down and bring your hook up and slip stitch. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the next space on the block we're joining. One, two, and three. 
into the next space on the block we have finished. Put your hook down and bring your yarn up and slip stitch. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the block we are joining. One, two, and three. Into the next space on the block we finished, slip stitch to join. And into our work, into that next space, three double crochets on the block we're joining. One, two, and three. So wrap your yarn into that next space on the block we're joining, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the block we have finished, into that next space, slip stitch to join. Wrap your yarn and into that corner, three double crochets. Remember, you can always work over your tail. Just hold it along with your work. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now right in between these blocks, right into that space, that's where we're going to join. So we're just gonna slip stitch into that join, into that space and chain one, give yourself a little bit of room, and grab your next block. So we're always adding our blocks the same way. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into that corner space. One, two, and three. Find the next space on the work we have finished and slip stitch into that space to join. The next space on your block, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the next space on the block you have finished, slip stitch to join into that space. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the block we're joining. One, two, and three. And into the space of the block we finished, slip stitch to join. And into the space on the block we're joining, three double crochets. One, two, and three into the space, slip stitch, and into the space of the block we are working on, that we're joining, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the next space of the block we have finished, slip stitch to join. So hook down and yarn up, and slip stitch. Wrap your yarn, work over your tail if it is there, three double crochets into that corner space. One, two, and three. Now in between the space of our block, slip stitch into that space. One slip stitch and a chain one to give yourself a little bit of room. And now go ahead and join all your other blocks along this row, just like we did right here. So now pause the video and keep joining all of your blocks, just like we did this one right here, all the way along until you get to the end of this row. When you've reached the end of your row, slip stitch into that corner space, just to finish it off, and chain one. Rotate your work so we can work along this block. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into this space to finish off that corner. One, two, and three. So pause the video and keep working around this block on three sides, one, two, and three, and I'll meet you when we get down here to this join. So when you've gone all the way around your block, we're right here at this corner, three double crochets into that corner space. One, two, and three. 
And now we're going to slip stitch over here in between those two blocks, right down into that space. So it might help if you turn your work a little bit. There we go. And now slip stitch into that space. One slip stitch. And chain one. Wrap your yarn, three double crochets into this next block, into that corner space of the block we're joining. Two and three. And now we're going to join this side just like we have been. So slip stitch into the next space on the block we have finished. So slip stitch into the space on the block we have completed. Slip stitch. And three double crochets into the next space on the block we're joining. One, two, and three. Into the block we have completed, slip stitch into that next space. Put your hook down and bring your yarn up to slip stitch. Three double crochets into the block we are joining. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the space, the next space on the block we have completed. Wrap your yarn and three double crochets into the block we're joining. One, two, and three. Into the next space on the block we've completed, slip stitch to join. And into the next space on the block we're joining, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Slip stitch into the next space on the block we have finished. And three double crochets into the corner space of the block you're joining. One, two, three. Slip stitch into the corner space on the block we have finished. And chain one to give yourself a little room. Now rotate your work. Three double crochets into this corner space just to get it started. One, two, and three. So pause the video and work this block on the two sides and I will meet you when we get down here to this join. When we get to our join down here, we want to finish that corner. So three double crochets into this corner space. One, two, and three. And we're going to slip stitch right in between those two blocks, right into this space. So I like to rotate my work first before I join that one, just so it's more comfortable for me. So I have my yarn facing me, and I just put my hook down into that space and bring my yarn back up. I use my finger to make sure my yarn doesn't grab anything else on the way through and slip stitch to join, chain one to give yourself some space, and we are ready to start joining our next square. So three double crochets into that corner space just to finish that off. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna slip stitch into the next space on the block we have finished one slip stitch to join. So now you can pause the video and keep going, joining the rest of this row, and I will meet you when we get to the end. When you get to the end of your row, do your three double crochets into that last corner space. Two and three, and we're not gonna finish this side. Remember, this side we don't finish. We're leaving this one just how it is. So now repeat row two, exactly how we did joining this row here, all the way along until all of your rows are joined. So when all of your rows have been joined up, we are ready to finish this last edge. 
So rotate your work so we are ready. And I'll show you what to do when we get to this little area right there. So just finish off this row here, or this side of this one square. So three double crochets into each space. There's three. Into the next space, three. And three into each space all the way along. You can pause the video and I can meet you when you get to this spot right there. So this corner space gets three double crochets. Just to finish off that corner. One, two, and three. And now I'm gonna slip stitch right into that corner space, right into the space. So one slip stitch into that space. Chain one, just to give yourself a little room. And now into the next corner, three double crochets. One, two, and three. So that is our corner. Don't worry about it coming in like a little dip. That is fine. It will all straighten out when we do our border edge. So now pause the video. Three double crochets into each space all the way along. Corners, three double crochets, slip stitch into the middle, and three double crochets into the next corner space all the way along, and I'll meet you when you get to the end of your blanket. When you get back to where we started, three double crochets into that corner space. One, two, and three. And we're gonna put one more row of granny around your whole blanket, just to even it out, because we have a nice double row in the middle to join all of our squares. And we want the same nice double row along the outside. So we're gonna continue with this yarn. So we're gonna join with a chain one, and we're gonna make a single crochet into the top of that chain three, right there to join. One single crochet to join single crochet and I just like to hold that space open with my finger just so I know where it is and chain three. One, two, and three. Now into the same corner space. You can turn your work if you like but just because our stitch is here I want them to match so I'm not going to turn my work for this round. Wrap your yarn and into that same corner space two double crochets just to start the round. You can pop a stitch marker in here if you think you're going to not see where that corner is. Always just pop one in there. Just so you know where we started. We don't keep going all the way around. So now you can pause the video, three double crochets into each of these spaces, and I'll meet you when we get to this first join. When we get to this join, there are two corner spaces right there. So we're going to start our shell in the first one, and we're going to finish it in the second. So wrap your yarn and into that first corner space, one double crochet. And then start your second double crochet, but leave it on your hook. We're not gonna finish it. Wrap your yarn, jump over into the second side, the second corner space, and start a, another double crochet. Leaving it on your hook, you'll have three strands. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook towards yourself, and take off all three loops. So that is a 2DC tog. Wrap your yarn, and into the next space, three double crochets. I like to work ahead a little bit before you go back and look at what you just did, just to make sure it all looks normal. There we are. So we have our three stitches into that corner space. We started four, but we finished with three. So that will be just right for when we do a border or anything else onto our blanket. So that's the trick for the join. You can pause the video and keep working around your entire blanket, and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, I'm just gonna finish that granny square. We're just gonna put three double crochets into that last space, just like we normally would. Two and three. Now I'm finished with this color, so I'm going to join with a chain two, one and two, and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join, right here to join. So slip stitch, chain one to secure your yarn, 
Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now sew in your two tails and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed making your continuous join as you go granny square blanket as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.